I've done a few of these videos, but you know what game I didn't play yet? Five Nights at Freddy's 1. No, seriously, I did not play this one. I know, I am an idiot. Alright, anyway, I wanted to check out the game where it all started. So, let's see. Or should I say, let's see it. Why do I do this to myself? So I booted up the game and went to the first night. There, I proceeded to do absolutely nothing for the entire shift, and I won. This is basically the night where you learn the two animatronics, Bonnie and Chica. If you see them with your light at the door, close the door. Pretty simple. Next night, on the other hand, I'm just kidding, it was basically the same except Bonnie made a few practices. Now, on night 3, things start getting a bit harder. For example, I didn't camera stall Foxy enough and he came at 2am, which is pretty bad. Uh, anyway, if you open cameras, no matter where your camera is, Foxy will be camera stalled for a bit, so he shouldn't move if you open them regularly. If he leaves the stage, he will take a few seconds to enter your office, and then you need to close the left door and look at cam 2A. Nothing overall that bad, so we are not going to talk about this night and move to the next one. Night 4 is where things actually got real because now Freddy is more active than before. Now I'm not 100% sure on how this bear works, but I'll try to explain what I know. He moves from room to room, laughing at you every time he takes a step. When he's in the kitchen, he plays his music box, and when he is on camp 4B, so basically right next to your door, he will kill you when you open camps. That, unless you have your door closed, or you have your cam on him to camera store him, Basically, the way you see and also works with flashes and rockstar chica. Basically, have your cam on him on all times, and if you want to check Foxy, close the right door for doing so. Now that you know how all the animatronics work, kind of, let's finish this night. Oh yeah, and I did die once to Freddy. Uh -huh.
Night 5 is another hard night and really my dumb friends did not help me with uh, calling me on WhatsApp and closing my game. Here I had to stall for time as much as possible, knowing Bonnie, Chica and Freddy could not kill me, unless I opened camps I really had to rely on Foxy not coming, and Freddy doing a long song after my power was out. With Foxy coming already a bit before, I wanted to take the risk. So yeah, everything paid out at the end. But even if the game is called Five Nights Freddy's, there is still one night left. Here we go, Night 6, the hardest night. The animatronics are basically the same as in Night 5, but much more active.
my god, that was actually so clean. Close call to be fair, especially with Foxy, but we pulled it off. This is it, Five Nights at Freddy's 1. The only thing that's missing is the 420 challenge, but that's for another time. If you also like this video. Now let's talk about this FNAF. It was great, I loved it. It's dense atmosphere combined with, I don't know if the freaking fox is about to attack or not. Gave me a really good time. And I loved how skill based the game is at times. Sometimes Chica does not leave the door and uh, it rains all the bar. But anyway, I really, really recommend this one. Almost 10 years later, it's still a great game. Next is FNAF 2. Thanks for watching and see you next time.